Hello everyone, Rohani Reiki with you again with my healing stories. So today we are going to talk about overall well-being. Seems like a very common term which we are using it all the time. Overall well-being uh, basically refers to the multidimensional aspects of our own well-being program. It can uh, be the physical aspect, the economical aspect, the uh, mental health, uh, our emotional health, also the social aspect, how we are able to interact with ourselves, yes, interact with ourselves, as well as others within the community, it may be the workplace, how keen we are or how uh, focused we are on our own development, uh, what are the activities that we are engaged in, our hobbies. So. It's the overall aspect, you know, which uh, refers to uh, our, uh, like I said, physical, mental, emotional, even spiritual aspects. So what are the main areas of our lives which affect our overall well-being? So in my uh, understanding over the years and with uh, readings and the experience of other people, I have come to this uh, conclusion. Uh, is that uh, the relationships in our life they affect us you know in big ways uh, our self-esteem issues uh, whatever happens around us it just it does affect our you know social our uh, whatever happens around us it affects our self-esteem then uh, our abundance issues because uh, in this world when we are born and whatever we do as we grow up, uh, the focus uh, or it becomes rather a part of our life which is um, you know creating wealth around us it might be uh, material wealth um, you know buying a house how much income you have well it's a part and parcel of life um, and it it is there it happens to everyone means we grow we grow in terms of wealth everybody grows um, we may not be happy about it or we may not be satisfied with the kind of growth we have but we do grow, grow nevertheless. So today we are going to meet uh, my good friend Mandeep, uh, we call her Dips and I have known her since uh, 2016 and uh, she is a very very focused uh, I would say uh, on you know well-being especially physical aspects uh, of course also the other aspects and uh, let's hear from her how reiki helped her hi dips how are you hi rajini yeah i'm really well thank you really lovely to see you here same here so uh, it's it's become quite cold there right yeah, you can see I've got my warm jumper on. <laughs> Even though I'm at home, I feel the cold. So yeah, it's getting uh, it is getting quite wintry now. It's, it's quite uh, it's quite warm here. We've got the fan on, and look at me. Gosh, I, I can see. <laughs> so so um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm so glad you joined me today. So you know, let's start with the first question, which is like, how do you got to know about Reiki? Gosh, it goes back to. Oh, 2002 actually when I first uh, visited India I was staying with family and they took me to this um, meditation um, place and the lady there actually was a Reiki master um, she spoke about it I actually did levels one and two with her um, I came back I kind of practiced it but I didn't really get into it much um, and then more recently a friend of mine um, told me about you you know, you're obviously in India at the time, you know, I'm here in the UK, so I wasn't sure how it was going to work. And I used to go and see somebody for Reiki every so often. Um, and my friend sort of said, well, why don't you learn yourself? And then that way you can, you know, heal yourself and you can also help your family members. She put yeah. me in touch with you and I guess that's where my journey started again. But uh, what made you want to learn Reiki? I think I wanted it to be a tool for myself mm -hmm. to help me in, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, I was starting to get more into the kind of whole 
spiritual learnings and I felt this would be you know a nice learning step and just something good for me to have to help myself and to help my children really so so I think we started in uh, 2016 you know sometime in 2016 January and then as luck would have it I was I guess it's probably you and the other people who kind of drew me to England and we continued with our uh, Reiki and you finished your uh, grandmaster level I know. So cool. So, how has it been? Like, could you just share your experience with Nikki? Yeah, of course. Um, well, first of all, I never expected to get to grandmaster level. Um, so, thank you to you for you know being here physically as well and taking me on this journey. Um, it's been amazing. I, I practice it daily. You know, I do my affirmations in the morning, and then I'll always do hands-on Reiki uh, when I'm going to bed. Um, my God, my experience, God, so many, so many things have happened. Um, okay, I'm a fitness instructor, so I sometimes get aches and pains in my body, you know, after exercise. So I'll use it physically, hands on where I need it, and I find it speeds up yeah. uh, my process of healing. Um, I've been in situations where I've got like a meeting coming up at work, and I've you know, the day before I've actually sent Reiki in advance to the meeting and, yes. you know, things have gone, you know, it's almost like it's been taken out of my hands and it's just literally been taken care of and I haven't had to worry or panic about anything. Yeah. Um, and when I've been in, as we all do, you know, in challenging situations where I'm worrying about something, yeah. it could be Daily anything lives. about the kids or about myself, yeah, again, I will just send Reiki to the situation and I just feel calmer and more balanced with it over the years have you felt a shift within you oh for sure and I, I would say many of my friends have commented on you know the shifts that have taken place within me that they have actually seen uh they feel that my growth there's been enormous growth mm -hmm. uh personally within me as well and I do definitely feel more I don't know, in line, I suppose, aligned with the universe or aligned, yeah, my awareness is, my awa yeah, yeah, my awareness is definitely heightened as well. I feel mm -hmm. that I process things a lot quicker than I used to, too. So, uh, you know, this current situation, things have become so uncertain and uh -huh. this corona doesn't seem to be, go, uh, you know, to go away at all and neither are we anywhere near, uh, vaccination or whatever I don't know so in this kind of situation do you think learning something like Reiki or any other uh, means you know modality which was going to help us to be calmer or be like you said more in sync with ourselves and the universe so what would you suggest because I also know that you do something called wellness series yeah Maybe you could share that yeah sure um so Reiki you know, if anyone's not doing Reiki at the moment, it's it's a fabulous tool to have, even if you just do level one. Um, it, it, it has a calming effect. So I think for anyone, anyone and everyone, you know, we all go through phases of worry, anxiety, and especially with so much uncertainty, you know, all over the world. Um, yeah, I feel it would definitely benefit uh, in so many ways. And like I mentioned, especially with, you know, feeling calm, uh, you know, grounding yourself um, and just being a little bit more um, at peace with with what, you know, anything else that is going on externally, you know, you can it, I think it does help you work more within, so it's finding that calmness, that peace within you um, and yeah, this launch I've just launched um, a wellness series at work, it was something that I was doing randomly last year uh, you know, in my office, offering um, exercise sessions, mindfulness sessions. Um, and over the first lockdown that we had here in the UK, I was doing regular sessions online. Um, and yeah, just recently, I've just launched a wellness series where I'll be doing something on a monthly basis, whether it is exercise, mindfulness, breath work, mm -hmm. um, inviting a guest speaker to do a talk on something sort of positive related to health and well-being. Oh. And I think especially in these, again, uncertain times, it's something that anybody and everybody can benefit from 
this mindfulness is more like a meditation yeah i put together like um it's different topics uh where yeah it's it's kind of like a guided meditation mm -hmm. so for example it could be again going within you know working on your chakras breathing visualizing sort of you know different colored lights coming within you and around you going for a walk in the forest mm -hmm. so it's just it's just like a 15 20 minute kind of taking um people on a on a small journey really where they can learn small little tools and techniques just to sort of tap back within yeah which they can probably do on their own as well later yeah yeah that's wonderful dips and uh, i have seen you since 2016 and i've seen the shift in you the change and yeah and uh, it's like i found a beautiful friend in you and of course i have to talk about shelly here <laughs> so both yeah. you and shelly have really stood by me also and thank you so much for doing this with me so take care dips at you thank later. you yeah, yeah thank my you. pleasure thank you ranjini thank for you everything so much. that you have done for me as well thank, thank you, you. Hi, I'm Mandeep Gill, Marketing Exec at Open Health and involved in CSR and Diversity and Inclusion. I'm also a qualified personal trainer and I run fitness classes and mindfulness sessions outside of work. It's an area that I'm really passionate about and as some of you know, I've been running various sessions since last year during our first lockdown and more recently during wellness week back in october which was really well received so thank you and now moving forward obviously with the uk in its uh, second national lockdown and covid numbers rising all over the world to help keep morale up to keep spirits lifted to stay positive and to stay focused i'll be launching a wellness series where I'll be running regular monthly sessions of about 20 to 30 minutes of exercise, mindfulness, breath work or inviting a guest speaker. If anyone has any other ideas I'm completely open to suggestions so please do give me a shout. Uh, this will be kickstarting next week leading into 2021 which hopefully will be a much better year. Everyone will receive a calendar invitation um, and like I mentioned, we're starting next week. So your first calendar invite will be for the 11th of November, followed by the 9th of December. So I really hope you can join and I look forward to seeing you online. Thank you.